Now, continuing with the analogy, imagine that you have two cables. Two cables can either have no current applied, so no current equates to zero, zero, or, for example, you could have no current on the first cable, but have current on the second cable, and that equates to zero, one. Once again, no current equals zero, current equals one. And continuing with that example, we could have current on the first cable and no current on the second cable. That gives us the value of one zero. Or we could have current on both cables. So current on cable one and current on cable two gives us a value of one one. So in this case, we have two cables, but there are four combinations or four options. Zero, zero, no current on both. Zero, one, no current on first, but current on second. Or one, zero, current, no current. Or one, one, which means current on both. The reason for this is that we have two cables and two possible states, either on or off. So two cables with two possible states gives us the value of four, or two to the power of two equals four, or if you prefer, two times two equals four. So just to summarize, in this example, we have two cables and two states per cable. Two cables times two states equals four combinations. Thus, two times two equals four, or two to the power of two equals four. So extending that analogy to eight cables. The reason why we're using eight is that an IP version four address consists of four octets or four eight-bit values. In this case, we might have no current on the first seven cables and current on the last cable. That gives us seven binary zeros and a single binary one. We could once again go through all the various combinations as per the previous examples, where we put current on the last cable, as in this example, or current on the second last cable and then go through all the combinations until we reached a situation where we had current on all the cables. If you went through all the combinations, you would end up having 256 combinations or 256 binary values. Two states across eight cables gives you 256. Now for the sake of time, we're not gonna do that here, but if you do decide to work it out, you would see that you have 256 binary combinations. Now let's do a quick comparison between decimal and binary systems. Decimal is based on a 10 base system where it has values from zero to nine. This is the numbering system used in everyday math or maths or mathematics, whichever term you prefer. Binary, however, is a two base system, which is the foundation of computer operations. Once again, we have two values, either zero or one. This is once again what we're gonna concentrate on throughout the rest of this video. So all examples are going to be using a combination of zeros and ones. Here are some basic math examples for those of you who may have forgotten. Two to the power of zero equals one. Two to the power of one, which in other words is two multiplied together one time, in other words, two times one, equals two. Now extending that, two to the power of two, which is two multiplied by two, equals four. Two to the power of three, which is two multiplied together three times, in other words, two times two times two, equals eight. Two to the power of four, which is once again two multiplied together four times, equals 16. Continuing, two to the power of five equals 32. 2 to the power of 6 equals 64. 2 to the power of 7 equals 128. 2 to the power of 8 equals 256. So that's some basic math. Essentially, 2 to the power of a value is the value multiplied by itself. In this case, 2 to the power of 8 is 2 multiplied by itself 8 times, which gives you 256. Now, this kind of basic math is really important when working with binary, IP addressing, and subnetting. Now, if you were ever going to learn a table to help you with binary and subnetting, then this would be it. In the real world, we typically use calculators 
but it's well worth knowing how to do this manually to help you with your understanding. So if you ever need to work out subnetting or binary manually, I suggest that you write down this table because it'll make your life a lot easier when working out binary to decimal and decimal to binary. What you have in this table is firstly your base exponent. So two to the power of seven, two to the power of six, two to the power of five, all the way down to two to the power of zero. Put binary ones below that and then the decimal equivalent. So two to the power of seven equals 128. Two to the power of six equals 64. Two to the power of five is 32. Two to the power of four is 16. Two to the power of three is eight. Two to the power of two is four. Two to the power of one is two. And lastly, two to the power of zero is one. Now these values are really important in IP version four, so it's well worth remembering this table.